Welcome back friends, I'm Juliet. I hope you had a happy Thursday and today is Friday and this is our third week of our self-love yoga practice. So today I prepared for you a quote which I probably the struggle struggles the most but I can relate to that the most as well. So there is no need to be perfect in order to inspire others. Let others to get inspired by how you deal with your own imperfection. Let's try to connect with this quote one more time. There is no need to be perfect to inspire others. Let others to get inspired by how you deal with your own imperfections. And let's keep in mind once we go through this Friday and then go through the weekends, so there is no need to be perfect guys people can learn and grow through your experiences and you can learn and grow through other people experiences we all different we all special so let's begin our practice today on our knees and i wanted i wanted to begin the practice today with the ankles and feet and then we're going to move to our wide leg squat malasana and we're going to practice a side lunges today so let's begin here let's draw the arms all the way up bring them up front of the heart for the breath or two close your eyes let's set a love loving nurturing intentions for this practice to grow to explore with passion and with inner love towards ourselves so let's begin by lifting one knee at a time so what we're doing we're shifting the weight on the ankles we do it a lot in other yoga practices, ankles, feet and toes like any other part of our body. Has to be stretched really, really good. Let's do just a couple more. In through the nose, out through the nose. And if it feels right, go ahead and bring your both knees up. Support yourself. If it doesn't feel right, continue to do one knee at a time. For those who are sitting really comfortably, you can go ahead, guys and bring your hands on top of the knees that's a little bit more advanced variation of this asana let's take a breath or two and if it's not perfect right prayer quote it doesn't matter just as long as you do your best and willing to grow and explore that's all this matter let's slowly repose it let's go ahead and come and hop on the toes and set your knees on the floor and try to land your entire body weight on those heels don't get rid of the toes curl make sure you're still sitting on the toes if you need your blocks because it's hard to use the blocks if you don't have a blocks you need to reduce some tension on the toes and put your fist up front otherwise take your hands namaste let's hold it just for the couple breaths together mm -hmm. and i want to hear guys about your experience we all uh, striving forward to get better people have get smarter maybe make more money you know get more educations but do we remember to have a loving and nurturing attitude on ourselves don't be too harsh and be rewarding right i want to hear about that guys so please uh, comment at the end of the video and let me know how you feel how is it going for you so we can learn from each other experience let's hug our knees and give it a hug and stay on your toes if that is not there for you yet Take your hands and support yourself with the fingertips outside. If you can stay with me, that's wonderful. It's a little bit challenging, but it's a great core workout, great toe stretching and beautiful guys. So let's go ahead and hop a little bit wider today. If you're not sitting on your heels at all, that is okay. Just put your blocks. Maybe you're going to sit on the block or put some pads underneath those heels. If you sit in up here nicely, then hands up front of the heart in between the knees. Close your eyes and let's dive inside. Let it just bend. A few breaths here, looking inside, looking within, looking for the true connection, mind, body, and the true self. The happiness is within. Love is within. Everything is inside. It's not outside. And just a couple more press, guys. Give it a soft transition to the one leg. Now, for some of us, it's going to be the elevated heel. And let's all begin, by the way, up here. So 
so we can start to progress so if that's the case and you cannot move anywhere farther you're going to be standing just right here and we just straighten the toes and heels hips and back of course if after a few breaths it feels absolutely comfortable to sit back and support yourself with the hands that's the way to go if not continue to stay on the tippy toes rest when you need on your knees in the child pose wherever you have to rest again maintain loving nurturing relationship towards yourself keep on breathing guys in through that nose out through that nose great and let's slowly open up if it's there if it's not don't worry continue to support yourself with the both hands on the floor but we're still staying on the same leg Mm -hmm. beautiful and let's make our transfer to the other side so we will begin with the elevated heel extend the other leg support yourself and just let the gravity again take the job take the work and let your body melt over the floor if after a few breaths it feels really really good then go ahead and sit on the full foot it will come with time don't stress if it's not there use the pads underneath the heels you can buy them everywhere and we're just going to continue to be here for a few more breaths stay with me guys i really want to hear about your experiences growing your self-love so again one little comment can save other person life and that's what is all matter so I want to hear about your experiences. How did you do through this third week? We're about to go to the Friday. Let's open up and expand through the heart, through the back, through the chest. If not, just remain your pose, hands grounded. Keep on breathing. Very nice. And just press her two. We're going to go back, guys, to Malasana. Wide legged squat, garland pose. This time we're going to draw the heels a little bit closer and toes slightly out. Let's take the elbows inside or outside. Through the nose in, through the nose out. Very good. Just a couple more breaths. And let's go ahead and try to bring a little bit more strength for the core and for the toes, for the feet. Coming up with me on the tippy toes. Stay here for the few breaths. Don't block the hips. Great job. And wonderful. Let's slowly take it back on the floor. I can't let you go on the weekends without some core work. So we're going to do a few variations of both today. With self-love, of course. Put your feet, bend your knees, take your feet up front. You can definitely support yourself just as is. If that's easy for you, go ahead and take your feet and extend your legs. Take your feet together, guys. Keep on breathing. Active core, active center of the body, Manipura. Let's open up and hold it. You can put one foot on the floor if you have to. And take it back to the other side, my friends. Don't quit, don't quit, don't quit, please. Take it all the way back. Breathe, breathe, knees, chin, chest, third belly, push, exhalation. Breathe, draw it in, push, exhalation, breathe, draw it in. Better than the cup of coffee if it's still a morning for you. Push back, grab the big toes, guys. Set your heels on the floor if you have to. Do the one leg at a time. If that's going pretty well, then expand. Take your both heels up, lift in the heart. Color bones are wide, try to not slouch the shoulders and lean back. You can definitely do one leg at a time. If you're holding it really, really good, then maybe you can grab to your feet rather than to your toes. Lift the heart and pull it through a little bit taller and that's fine. You're doing awesome and let's go ahead and bend the both knees together. Elevate the feet off the ground or have them grounded if you have to. And we go eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, and last scissors, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful job, guys. 
So let's go ahead and bring the boost feet up front. Reach all the way up. Inhalation through the nose. Exhalation through the nose. Drag your both hands up front of your heart. We about to go for the weekends, guys. I won't see you. Well, I will see you on Thursday. Oh, I, I will see you on Saturday. But Sunday, I won't see you. So use this quote. Let's remember it. You don't have to be perfect to inspire others. Absolutely not. Let others to learn and grow looking at you how you deal with your own imperfections so guys let me know how you have you done how is this week with our five quotes please use them use them to grow through the weekends and i will see you on monday namaste